Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to part two of this series. I have no clue how long it's going to be. But, um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Huh. Yeah, I think she's definitely high on something. What the hell? Another accident. This oh, no. place. What the fuck? Oh shit. That's not scary. Yeah, you guys can read that uh, if you want to pause it, like usual. Jesus. Stop hiding, Callum! <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ, this bastard. Bastard of a child. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What? This looks fucking sick. I want to get right to it. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. Really? Make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. What? We were waiting our turn on the ride. Frank and me and the boys. This fellow in a chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyways, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice, and at first we thought he was making some animal like a tiger or a lion. But at, as more and more ice fell away, the, when you first looked, it looked like a human's face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them away as fast as we could and the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was the eyeball of one of the poor kids that landed on the ice sculpture making the horrible creature look more or less alive what the fuck Dude, <laughs> I knew that chipmunk was creepy. Don't fuck with suits like that, dude. Unless it's Slugger the Sea Dog, man. He's my boy. Oh, 
I want to hop on. Oh, we do this. I guess. What do we do? Right here? What's up? I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm retarded. Let's do this thing. I'm guessing there's no animation of me getting on. Can I, can I get on? It's fully stopped. What the hell was that? Jesus. Can I get on? What's going on? What do I do? Ah, there we go. Oh, wow. Look at the sky. Oh, dude, that Ferris wheel. We get to go on that. Look at the trees, yeah. Whoa there, uh. Going a little fast, bud. Going a little fast. You wanna, uh, slow down a little? What the hell was that? What the hell are you? What even is that? Dude, what the fuck? Do we go this way? Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed. What the fuck? A single traitorous thought. Well, that's freaky. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. Something about Chad the Chipmunk. Huh. Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Dude, I knew something was gonna happen. Ugh. That wasn't... That wasn't cool. Come back, Callum! What is that? Well done. Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Floats mine. Let's get this thing going. Whoa. Why are the lights on on this thing? Where are the oh, there's a there's like a gate thing, huh? It's kind of cool. Oh, 
Okay. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directly directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describe the injuries caused. Francis would kill of it all you'd think. Huh, we're just gonna Oh, what was that? What the fuck? Hey guys, let's go investigate. I've played through this game once before. I've 100 percented it, but it's a matter um, of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just a scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. So what I was saying, um, I played, I've 100 percented this game before, it was a while ago, but, um, I don't remember anything about it, so, I guess we're back. This ferris wheel looks like it's going to be some fun. Let's do this thing. Why not? Oh, you have to click on the chipmunk. Of course. Of course you do. Because that's just great. Is this one going to go super fast like the last one? I wouldn't be surprised if it like, just fucking flew off the thing and started barreling somewhere else. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Really? I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. Yeah. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. 
What? According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Damn. Gone was there one moment, and then gone. That sucks. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Yep, I guess. We coming to a stop? Well, that's creepy. Oh, we aren't. We aren't st Oh, we are. It's not there. Where do I go now? Oh, I should go this way. This is creepy. I guess I'm gonna go this way. Alan, where did you go? What the fuck? What is this thing? Let's move it. Damn. Someone had a bad day. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Do you see him? I can't go that way. What do I do? Can I not go this way? Mommy is coming, Callum. I'm so confused. It seems like it'd be so simple to go that way. Hmm. I feel like something's about to happen. The hell is that? Yeah. Do I have to go all the way back around? Shun, right? You wouldn't think. Maybe I do. No, it's broken again. The fuck? Pretty sure I talked to the guy, right? So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. Damn. Three suicides on the top of the Ferris wheel. I should have read that out loud, sorry guys. What's going on? Let's get this thing going again. I don't know. What 
Let's see. Let's go try this again. I don't know what else I'd need to do, man. You'd think it would just slide right under it. Oh, that was weird. Oh man. What do I do? Oh. Whoa. Okay. Well, that helps. this eye thing stop please I wonder if we get to ride the roller coaster that'd be cool a lot of people idolize their children you hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk their fucking voices make me want to vomit my angel likes to read and little Johnny is so good on the piano fuck those people you give up nine months of your life carrying them you traumatize yourself giving birth to them and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave wiping asses mopping a piss feeding them little life sucking monsters who take and take and take until <sighs> we all go insane any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Do it. That's what I would do. I always wanted to write this one. Never got around to do it before. Well, I guess it's your lucky day, ma'am. It's down there. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, oh, hello. What do you want? We need to talk about Caleb. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's oh. insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa there. Oh gosh. Whoa, I did not, I was not able to read that. Whoa, dude, this is not safe. Can face what? Oh. Whoa! side that I can out on. an 
axe? The witch oh, yeah. awaits. What do you mean, the witch awaits? You fucking crackhead. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. All right, I'm going to pause it right here. Before we go any further uh, I'll see you in the next part